How's it going ladies and gents? Welcome back to the Trinks Repair channel as always I'm Dan and this is technically the Christmas episode and boy have I got something cool for you. We've got these Lucchese snakeskin cowboy boots. These are wicked and they are in for the works of full leather sole and restoration. Keep watching, see what it's all about. So once again, welcome back guys. Hope you're doing well. Merry Christmas. Let me know down in the comments what you are up to today whilst we're doing this video. But let's talk about the job. So as I said, we've got these Lucchese cowboy boots and the snake skin. I love exotic levers and I love cowboy boots. So this is fun for me to work on. Not a super uh, demanding job. We're just doing a full resole in leather. So stripping off the old sole putting on. Going to put a bit of color on it. Going to put some brass tacks on it. And they've got a stacked leather heel blocks. So I'm going to show you how we address that. So let's get to it. But just before we dive into the repair, quick shout out to this video's sponsor, Athanase, the powder greens superfood blend for men. So Athanase is a nutritional supplement for men designed to help with cognitive function, healthy testosterone levels, recovery, and all around gut health. I've been taking it for several weeks now and I have to say I'm feeling pretty great. Definitely noticed the benefits of cognitive function and my performance in the gym. If you wanna try it out, you can click the link here. You get 10% off if you use my code and it helps with the channel. Let's crack on with the repair. with these stacked leather heel blocks, we're gonna try and prise it all off without breaking any of the individual layers of leather because they're quite brittle. And we wanna be able to put it back together. There we go. So to get the sole off, we've just got to loosen all the original glue and cut the stitches. So to debond the glue, we're going to use the good old jerk off stripper and that's going to loosen everything up. I don't know if you guys remember, I said I had a shoulder injury and I've still got it. And even little things like cutting around basically all of my work, it's a real pain to aggravate the shoulder and I can't rest it. So these boots have a beveled waist similar to a fiddleback waist so there's your beveled waist component sits on top of the shank. You know what guys, it's been a while since I've shown you some proper old school Tring Shoe Repair stuff. So a local customer's just brought me this axe in. Once it's sharpening, I'm gonna take you along for the ride. Next order of business, pick the old stitches out. I'll show you up close and personal. So you have to do this so you can stitch the new leather sole on nicely without chewing up and destroying the well or your machine. I actually did a favor for a friend the other day, stitched on some leather soles for them and he hadn't picked out the old stitches and it snapped a needle in my machine. So it really is important that you get these done. Right, so we just gotta get our cork filler in. So I'm just gonna put a dab of glue in the middle. And lucky me, Terry's bought me the coffee and it says shoe man on it. Here he is. Oh. <laughs> Merry Christmas. So on my weekly order, I had to get some more cork filler and I'm pleased to tell you guys, I had to get another mega pint of cork filler, a Johnny Depp mega pint. Now don't tell me why, but when it comes in a mega pint, it's sort of wetter. 
Perfect. All right, so now the cork fill is dry, it's time to get our new sole on. So I've got my Dessini premium oak bark leather here ready to go on. I've got Chief Ron to oversee the gluing again. He's still on his Dodge Challenger. Check that out in the last video if you didn't see it. So for the first time in this video, let's get sticky. Okay, let that dry and then we'll heat everything up and stick it together. Okay, super hot, super sticky. So when we put a sole on the cowboy boot, we need to really make sure that we bend it around this beveled mold and get the shape right. Just wheel it on. Okay. our handiwork not too bad <laughs> Okay, so our sole's all on, we've got some pretty nice colour there. So now we've got to stitch it on, and what I want to show you guys quick is, if you can just see, there's little pen marks I've put right there. That's to show me where the original holes on the welt are, so we can try and stitch through the same holes. Right, so we're finished with the sole for the minute, we need to look at the heel. So if you remember, we've got this stacked leather heel block and you can see it's coming away in sections, which is handy for us because what we want to do is chop it in half so that we can use the first section that is curved to sit just on the sole. And then we're gonna get nails going from the outside into the shoe, that's how we're gonna attach it. So we'll see if we can just peel it apart. It's too noisy on the machine. Just wait till do the other side. Okay. 
So this little guy here is called the Bresta cone and the sandpaper's a bit worn out. And we're just about to use it, so I'm gonna put a fresh cone on it. I'm gonna make sure it's all nice and straight or else it'll be wonky when we turn the machine on. Okay, so we're just finishing up. We're going around the heel block with sandpaper just to give it a real nice smooth finish. Alright guys, so the meat and potatoes of the repair is done, soles on, given it's a nice colour, got this Vibram explosion heel on which I think is pretty cool, and given the heel uh, just a little bit of a flare there. So now it's time for some TLC. Now we all know these are snake skin, so we've got to pay a little bit of extra special attention to them. I'm going to clean them first, really just down around any of the edges where there's some gunk in between the shoe and the welt. So I've just got the Saphir Gentle Cleanser for the cleaning because this is our go-to if we ever want to be cautious about any of the materials we're putting it on. Just going to go in the direction of the scales so I don't want to peel them back. So for the TLC, we're using a product by Saphir called Reptan. You'll see me use it before. The key is in the title. Reptan is designed specifically for reptile skins. And the reason for that is it's got a component in it. And the reason for that is it's got lanolin in it. Lanolin is a key component for keeping reptile skins soft and supple. It's actually a natural part of reptile skins. So this is gonna hydrate it specifically in the way that reptile skins need to be hydrated. And it's gonna stop the scales peeling and cracking and just looking a little bit darker and more healthy. This is a new box, I don't wanna crack him open. I've got one I've opened earlier. And remember, if you want this stuff or any of the other Saphir products, you can find it on our online shop, shrinkshoerepairs.com. And this is just like a moisturizer. It feels kind of like jelly, but I like to just apply it with my fingers. So just work that into the scales all over. And once it's on, we're just gonna let it soak in for maybe five or 10 minutes. And then we can shine it up just like any other shoe cream. Right, so as I said, I'm just gonna give that five minutes to dry. And for the top part of the boot, this is regular leather. So I'm just gonna use the good old Renova Tour to um, really hydrate that also. The Renova Tour smells absolutely fantastic. It really is the best conditioning cream that you can get. As I'm filming this, guys, it is actually Christmas Eve. So I am absolutely on the clock try and get this done for you guys tomorrow. I want to have it done for Christmas. So once everything's dry, I'm gonna buff it off to a shine with our horsehair brush and job done. So there we are guys, job done on our Lucose cowboy boots. So, given the snakeskin some much needed TLC and restored them with this nice new sole. I think it's turned out really cool the way it looks, the colors especially with the brass detailing and the pink stitching.
Pretty sure the customer's gonna be happy with this as well. This is for Lee, so shout out to Lee. Thanks for sending these beauties in. They are definitely gonna last another thousand miles. But with that, that is the end of the video. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed a little Christmas episode. I've got to get out of here. I've got to go and wrap up Christmas presents. I've already wrapped up my dad's present. Do you think you'll guess what it is? I hope you guys have a wonderful Christmas. Do remember to try Athenaise if you're interested. You follow the link. You can use my code, Dan the Cobbler. Let me know if you enjoy the product and experience any of the good benefits that I have. Being, of course, cognitive function, healthy testosterone support and performance in the gym. But for now, thanks for watching. If you like the video, do hit like, helps me with the channel tremendously and subscribe if you happen to be new, hit the notifications bell so you're kept in the loop every time I upload a new video. The next video we've got is me resoling my own RM Williams boots and then in January, we're going on a trip to the day night factory. And remember to check out the online shop, tringshoerepairs.com. If you need any Sapphire products, we are an official stockist. And if you want to talk to me about a shoe repair, there's where you'll find the contact form. But for now, I'm out of here. Once again, thanks for stopping by. Cheers.